So hello everyone, welcome back to the another session. Today I'm going to start with a different topic that is something called work pato. So we, we will see why we have started with work pato and what exactly work pato is, right? So we know that work pato is a kind of a, a loop code automations uh, which enables you kind of IPI pass services, right? Where you have an integration as a service and then the all integration as a service is a completely based on the low code. You can drag and drag, drag and drop the uh, all the activity, and then you can write the recipe, and then you can build a recipe, and you can have a lot of connectors and everything. So, coming back to the good things, Workato has released the Workato apps, which is basically enables you to build a apps on the low code platform so like we have a multiple uh, low code platforms into market right now so workato is one of them right so workato is recently released uh, uh, workflow apps where you can just uh, design your apps and that is very much responsive application it supports like a mobile application desktops or any kind of device right so any critical business process requires a human interaction, right? So Workato was just a missing on the apps parts and the data layer parts. So Workato enables uh, apps and the, in Workato now what you can do, you can create your apps, you can start your uh, recipe from the apps, you can capture the data, you can go for the approval system and then you can approve and reject, right? So the question is like how we can start the Workato apps, uh, how we can develop the Workato apps, right? So what, what you need to do if you are a partners or you are a customers, you need to enable Workato apps in your workspace. So what you can do, like you can go to your, you can go to Workato.com and then in Workato.com you, you should log in, right? And then once you log in, this is kind of a free also, you can try to log in in your apps, uh, workspace and creating a workspace for you, man like a free version, but being a partner or being a customer, you will have a apps and data enabled. So right now what you can do, you can go and log in with your Office 365 account, uh, kind of a, a partner's account or customer account. And then I'm sure you will not be able to see the app. So what you need to do, how how can you enable Workato apps into your workspace? So what you need to do, you need to reach out to your sales teams or your partner sales team, whoever is managing uh, your company at Workato site. So you need to uh, reach, uh, reach out to them and ask them just to enable apps into your company organization workspace. So once they enable into your organization workspace, you will have apps and data enabled into your workspace, right? So once it enable how, how it looks like, let me show you. So what you can do once you log in with your Office 365 accounts and whatever account you are using and then apps is enabled. So how, how it looks like, so what you can do, you can go to your project and maybe you can create a sample project, I can say, create a project, right? And the moment you can create a project, you can give like something names and everything. So, and, and then you can create and start with a workflow app, right? So the moment you say start with a workflow app and give the names and everything, you can select the template, like you know, how, what kind of workflow app you want to trigger, like new request, submit request or review request. So there are some templates they have given, submit request or review request. So you can say submit request, right? So the moment you select submit request, it's a create project. And then, then you can give the new project name, like uh, here you can say, what card to apps, correct? And then you can give create project, and then it will create a project into your work part, right? So the moment it create a project here in your workspace, what you can do, you can go and create a recipe Either you can go and create a connection and then data level and page. So this page, like what you can do, you can create a different, different page into Workato, which I was saying, you can go and set blank page and submission page or approval page, and then you can just create a page. So let's say I can say new request, right? And I want to create from the blank. So create page. So the moment you say blank and create page, so the, you can see everything comes here left side. And then you have a data label, new workflow apps and everything. So what you can do, you can drag and drop and you can build your application and then you can just host the application and you can run this application, right? 
So what was the agenda for this? Like how to start with one of Mercato apps? So basically you need to enable uh, apps into your tenant, uh, not tenant in a workspace. And for that, what you can do, you can reach out to Workato sales teams or, uh, or you can see your partner t uh, contact person. And once they enable into uh, your workspace, once they enable apps, so then you will be able to see the apps like pages and then you can see data table. So data table is nothing just to store the data. We'll talk about that. And then pages is having like where you can create low code application. You can drag and drop and then you can create the page. And then what this page has certain templates. Either you can start with a blank page, either you can start with submission page, either you can start with a new request or approval page. And then a then we, we can go and this, this these pages are very, very much responsive it it works on the any kind of device uh, and then you can just start with the very intuitive designs on the apps okay thank you thank you for watching we will look forward for more session on our auto apps guys thank you so much